Hi JC, so I wanted to ask you some questions about school. So when you're at school, do you like to learn by listening, by reading, by seeing, or by doing? Seeing. By seeing? Do the pictures help you understand what the teacher's asking you to do? Yeah, I think. Okay. What are some activities that you like to do at school? I don't know. Writing. Writing? Do you like to write with the pencil and paper, or would you like to write on the computer? Pencil and paper. Okay. Are there are some activities that you like to do on the computer? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. Do you think for school, if your teachers used more technology, more computers, more apps on the iPad, do you think that would help you learn better? Yeah. Okay, thanks, JC. Welcome. The unit lesson focuses on SDC English grades 9 through 12. Common Core Standards are English Language Arts grades 1, 2, and 4, focusing on reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And the Technology Standards are Creativity and Innovation, Communication, and Collaboration, working together um, as groups or with adults. The novel the class read was Mr. Peabody and Sherman. It was a three-week unit plan. Two days were spent reading, two days focusing on a country, and one day celebrating that country. Here is the current classroom that I had in Glendale, ready and excited about our book. And this is the classroom at Hoover, and we also did the same book. Each day of reading, the students would do a journal note as to what they read. Three days a week, we're learning about other countries. For this unit lesson, we're learning about the countries that Mr. Peabody and Sherman traveled to in the novel, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. We show them where the countries are on the globe, then we leave our classroom, hop into our traveling time machine, and our first stop is France. So we're reading about France and what happened in the French Revolution. They see a PowerPoint, get some basic facts, they give visuals to let them connect to the places that they're talking about in the novel, and they're learning about another country and cultures. I always try and connect art to it, that way our visual learners and our kinesthetic learners who need to draw are able to do that. We also always connect food, that way we're connecting our nature, our naturalists to it. At the end of the week, we usually do some artwork. So for France, they did a flag and then they all did an Eiffel Tower. We visited a French bakery. And then on Friday, we made a very simple ratatouille and crepes. And the kids also made some flowers using crepe paper. And that was our trip to France. Mr. Peabody and Sherman hop back into their time machine and their next stop is Italy. Here there's a scene with Da Vinci and the Mona Lisa. The students were able to paint the flag and then they were able to paint their own Mona Lisa. For Italy, we were able to go outside and do a field trip. So we walked out to um, a local Italian restaurant where they were able to experience um, the music and culture of Italy. The food was absolutely delicious. They got to take in the scenery and really connect with the culture. And then on Friday, they decided what they would like for us to make. So they made pasta and mini pizzas to connect to their culture. So we're back in our time machine and our last stop is to Greece. So students were able to, again, always do a flag and a map. Here are some of the students from Hoover. Um, coloring, doing Greek vases. After they were able to decorate them however they could, then they were able to paint them. They really enjoyed using all the different artwork and decorations. They felt like they were connecting to all of the countries. And here are some of their finished products for Greece. And again, we always make sure we connect it with food. And so we always end on Friday with food. So whether the students are reading on their own or in a class, 
Each day after reading, they're writing in their journals, whether together or on their own. They're researching on their iPads. They're researching on their phones and on the computer. Then after we're finished with the novel, we go to the computer lab and they're all able to work on their project. If students want to dress up in countries, they're more than welcome to do that. We have assistants here. Some students are able to work on their own. Some work with an assistant. Here's a student who's helping. Some of the students with their finished products did a poster board on a character analysis. Some were more detailed than others, depending on the level of the students. Other students did posters on setting analysis, and again, depending on the level of the student. And it doesn't matter whether they're verbal, interpersonal, kinesthetic, naturalist. Here we are finished with our novel, finally. It's just important to connect them and give them a whole experience.